we're not saying that this necessarily leads to Weimar. What I am saying is that uh, is this radical, unprecedented, indeed unimagined monetary um, uh, emission um, is distorting the things that markets value and weigh. For example, um, interest rates the world over have collapsed. Now, what this does, among other things, is to is to uh, is to take credit analysis out of the picture as a useful undertaking. Why bother to study differences in credit when everything is priced at two or three percent? So, uh, and in money market mutual funds, everything is priced at zero. It's like that old crazy Eddie uh, commercial, right? right? So, everything is nine ninety nine. Right. So, because there is no profit in analyzing credit, uh, people uh, commit capital to the wrong places, and pretty soon you come up with a credit crisis, of which we have had many in recent memory. That's one problem with these, uh, these, these, tr these truly radical uh, monetary policies being followed the world over. Um, another problem is, is that, uh, is that they, they distort uh, the meaning of, of, of money. Now, money is meant, I say, to be a store of the value of work. Um, it is no longer that. It is a tool for the manipulation of economies. And, and to insist that um, this will work out is to, is to ignore the massed evidence of central bank error over the preceding 5, 10, 15, 20 years. These people, well-meaning and well-educated as they are, cannot see anything coming until it hits them between the eyes. Do you think there's any possibility that gold selling off today is cause that maybe Cyprus or some other weaker country might be looking to sell its gold reserves to try well, to get itself out of a hole? I mean, there's a million possibilities. There, there are a million possibilities, and one I think one more immediate and plausible possibility is the sheer weight of selling pressure and momentum in a market uh, for, a commodity, for, a, for a monetary medium that is, after all, without earnings, yield, Gold is a price. It is, it is an outlook on the world. Now, the reason to be bearish on gold would be that you have utter confidence in the capacity of the central bankers of Japan, China, the United States, Europe to uh, dexterously manipulate those things they manipulate to press interest rates to the floor only for so long, but don't, not a fiscal quarter too long, and to remove everything that's excess come the moment when it should be removed. That's the bearish case on gold. And you're saying basically gold. there's absolutely no central banker that has this kind of crystal ball, well, which is a fair right. point. No, no, no one has, including, including those of us who criticize central bankers, but certainly no central banker has proven his or her capacity to see into the future and improve it before it comes to pass, which, however, is the affect that they, that they uh, face, that they bring to the world. Although what else are they going to do really, well, Jim, they, right? Do I less, mean, do less. Right. What they should do, I say, is at least to, at least to, to, uh, to give um, market-determined prices a chance to operate. And Japan, Japan is a perfect case study of, of, of the, what everybody else is doing, but, but higher, faster, and louder. So the Japanese are buying, the Japanese Central Bank is buying real estate investment trusts, it's buying exchange-traded funds as well as bonds uncounted and unimagined. And wouldn't it be better if instead of doing that, our central bankers would, would let asset prices reflect what is going on in the real economy rather than, rather than telling us we're rich because stock prices are up, we make them go up. How about letting stock prices go up because the underlying economic activity um, well, there's also a subsidy, right, as far as trading partners go, and this is all factoring into absolutely. this decision. And, there's, and there's, there are terrific inequities, too. Who gets the first crack at this money? Well, it's Goldman Sachs and, and SockGen and Citibank and all the banks that, except for the largest, the taxpayers would not be around telling us how lousy gold is. What do you do, Jim, if you're an investor now? I know you're still a long-term gold liker, at least. Uh, I don't know if I can quite no, say No, I, I, I am indeed bullish on the stuff, as okay. I say, uh, bullish uh, but chagrined. Um, it seems to me that, uh, that, you know, that, 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 that if you look around for a segment of the, of the stock market or of the, of, the, of the commodities markets that is truly loathed, truly out of fashion, you can't do better than gold. Okay. So if, you're, if you have any contrary impulses, this is one place to begin, one place to begin, but it's, it's, I think it's the best place to begin. 